delicious dunkers. So I'm making the shortbread cookie to use as the dunker into my frosting. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. I have one stick of unsalted butter. I'm gonna beat this with one third cup of sugar. I'm gonna beat this until it's nice and fluffy. Okay, I'm gonna add one egg yolk right now. And I'm gonna also add a quarter teaspoon of almond extract and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. There we go. I'm gonna give it a mix one more time before I add my dry ingredients. All right, good. I'm adding one and a half cups of flour to this bowl. I'm also gonna add one tablespoon of cornstarch, and I'm adding cornstarch to make sure that this cookie is nice and firm so when we dunk it, it doesn't fall apart. I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna mix this up. I'm gonna add my dry to the wet and give it a mix. Taking my dough out, I'm gonna roll it out, then cut them. So I'm rolling this dough into basically a square, an eighth of an inch thick. Now I'm gonna cut my dough into sticks. Okay, let's say about that wide. I'm gonna go across like this. Now I'm gonna put my shortbread sticks on a sheet pan that I've covered with parchment paper. I love any reason to dress up. Any themed type parties, I am there. So I asked my friends to come dressed in their late 90s, early 2000s gear. And I got something planned. If you guys already see my hair is done. And let me tell you about my outfit. I'm gonna give you a hint, velour. Oh yeah, I'm taking it way back. All right, now I'm gonna pop these into the freezer and let them set up because when I bake them, I don't want it to spread. While that sets up in the freezer, let me grab my whipped topping to make the dip. Eight ounces of room temp cream cheese, about four tablespoons of softened butter, half of the stick, a cup of powdered sugar. And I'm gonna beat this until it becomes fluffy. All right, I'm gonna add cake batter flavoring. I bet you guys didn't know this was in your spice aisle. Give it a go again. Okay. Now I'm gonna add this entire container of whipped topping, which will help lighten up the frosting and make it airy. I'm gonna whip this up. Okay. I'm gonna use a quarter cup of some fun sprinkles. Give it a mix again. Oh my gosh, it looks just like it. Listen, I quit my job. I'm gonna be a kid again. I'm gonna put it in my serving bowl. My friends are gonna go crazy over this. Smooth it out. So my shortbread cookies chilled for about 15 minutes in the freezer. I have the oven preheated to 350. I'm gonna let them bake for about eight to 10 minutes. All right, my cookies are done. They smell really good. Oh, look at these, the Dunkers. Nice and golden brown on the edges. They remind me so much of those cookies. And that dip back there, it's gonna be a hit. Do you guys remember the Dunkers yes. we used to eat? Mm -hmm. I made my own version, dunk it. Let's see. Ooh, I've been trying to find these for the longest. Me too. This tastes straight out of 95. Yes. Oh. The early 90s. 